When buying a gaming monitor, there are three main panel types that you will come across, which are TN, VA and IPS. Each of these panel types are more suited to certain types of games and all have their respective strengths and weaknesses. In this video, we're going to compare each panel and help you determine which one is best for your own gaming needs. You can have a £3,000 PC, but without the right monitor, you may not be getting the best experience for your money. And that's where this guide is designed to help you. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each panel type is going to be vital and will help you work out what's going to be the best option for the type of games you play. So the first panel type that we're going to look at is TN, which stands for Twisted Pneumatic. So one of the key advantages of TN panels are that they are the fastest on the market, offering low response times and higher refresh rates with minimal input lag, making them a great option for fast paced games and an ideal choice for someone looking at playing games competitively. However, the trade off with this is that you get fairly bad viewing angles in most of the standard to mid range monitors and often have a fairly poor colour accuracy, meaning they're not ideal if you do a lot of video editing and content creation. The colours can often look washed out in comparison with an IPS panel, but if you're focused purely on getting a competitive edge rather than the game looking pretty, this may not be an issue. So as for the price, these are often the cheapest monitors available, so it can be a great option for entry level gamers looking for a fast monitor that won't break the bank. Some of the top end TN panels can now achieve up to 360Hz refresh rate, making them a great option for esports as well. In our opinion, if you need the absolute fastest monitor on the market, TN is definitely the best place to look. With response time as low as 0.5 milliseconds and refresh rates now up to 360 hertz, these monitors will ensure you are not held back by input lag or low refresh rates. And as long as you have a strong GPU to support the higher frame rates, this will be a great option. So at the other end of the table we have IPS panels, IPS standing for in-plane switching. So with an IPS panel you get the best viewing angles, with most monitors offering up to 178 degree viewing angle with no colour distortion. The panel technology also allows for vibrant colours that make it great for any form of content creation, including photography and videography. However, with the enhanced visual quality, you do lose the faster response times of TN panels, and will pay a premium to get to higher refresh rates such as 144Hz. They also generally feature slower response times than TN equivalents, with most IPS panels sitting at around the 4 millisecond mark. It's worth noting though that over the last few years, IPS technology has continually developed, and we are now starting to see some higher refresh rate panels hit the market with lower response times. However, you will pay a premium for these, so it's also worth considering your budget when deciding which panel type to go for. In our opinion, IPS monitors are a great option if you play large open world games and want to fully appreciate game environments and worlds with accurate colour. With new models hitting the market that feature 1 millisecond response time and higher refresh rates, they are also becoming more viable as a competitive gaming monitor for both FPS and action games. If you're okay with paying a little bit more for your monitor, these are definitely worth looking into and are quickly becoming the best all-round panel type for gaming monitors. So the third panel type is VA, and VA stands for Vertical Alignment and is basically a compromise between both the advantages and disadvantages of TN and IPS. So with VA panels, they offer higher refresh rates and better viewing angles than TN, and VA is a great option for casual gamers and content creators, with some of the more expensive models matching the speeds of TN panels. VA panels excel in contrast and offer really good colours but not quite as good viewing angles as IPS. A lot of curved monitors use VA panels and therefore can be a great option if you're building a multi-monitor racing setup or just want a slightly more immersive experience from your games. These are also priced competitively meaning you won't need to break the bank in order to get your hands on a monitor with a decent refresh rate and fairly good viewing angles. However, it's worth noting that some of the cheaper VA panels do have issues with screen lines and ghosting due to the lower response times that the cheaper ones offer. Backlight bleed can also be an issue, especially with the curved monitors, so it's worth checking out reviews before making a purchase and giving your own panel a check over once you receive it. In our opinion, VA panels can be a great option for an immersive setup and there are some solid options available at a reasonable price. They're perfect for casual gamers that just want to be adaptable between a variety of games and not just focus on a single genre. So, when picking the right panel type, there are a few key things that you'll want to consider. The first being your budget and whether you have the hardware to make use of monitors that have higher refresh rates in the first place. There's no point buying an expensive monitor that features a 240Hz refresh rate if your PC can only run your games at 60Hz. So consider this heavily when summing up a monitor upgrade. Secondly, it's worth working out what your priorities are. If you're a competitive player and want to ensure none of your hardware holds you back, TN panels with a lower response time and higher refresh rate will probably be the best option. If you're a more casual gamer and want to feel a bit more immersed in realistic environments, then IPS will likely be able to offer that and allow you to get the most out of your games. 
If neither of those sound like you, VA may be your best bet, giving you a taste of both worlds with plenty of options available on the market. Just make sure you're careful about the monitor you go with, as lower response times have been known to cause motion sickness and visual artifacting within games. In summary, it all really depends on what your priorities are and the kind of games you play. Once you've evaluated your own usage and worked out those priorities, the choice should be clear, and you should end up with a monitor that's perfect for your needs. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below, and equally if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave us a like. We'll be back soon with a comparison of refresh rates, looking at the difference between 60Hz, 144Hz and 240Hz, and evaluating how much refresh rates actually matter when looking at buying a new monitor. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.